Hello, and welcome to this short video on Kupo's wall spreaders. Wall spreaders are nifty devices that expand or spread between two walls or floor and ceiling. They create a solid mounting option where none existed before. They come in two flavors, lumber and one and a half inch schedule 40 pipe. Let's see how they work. One end is a receiver that simply holds either a two x four or a length of one and a half inch schedule 40 pipe that is mounted to a flat plate that is placed against the wall. The other end features a threaded bolt with a threaded collar and a handle fixed to a plate that will contact the other wall and the other receiver attached to a piece of pipe. When you turn the threaded collar, it pushes against the pipe, allowing you to increase the width of the spreader. The threaded collar consists of a 26 mm hex bolt, so you can use a wrench to aid in tightening or loosening the collar. Each end is covered with a fabric pad to protect the surfaces from scratching. Each adapter has four holes for additional mounting options. Just a quick word of caution, be aware that a wall spreader provides a lot of mechanical force, and if you keep cranking the handle to make it tighter, even though the plates are large and do a great job of distributing the force, if the plates are not backed by a wall stud, it's possible to punch through the wall if enough force is used. So please, use common sense before mounting. The wall spreaders have an expansion range between five and three quarter to nine and eight inches. So you have to make sure your two x four is the width of the walls or floor and ceiling, minus about eight inches. Let's spread some lumber. First, we'll measure the distance between the two walls. Then, we'll subtract about half the spreader's expansion range. The advantage to the lumber is that you can easily cut it to size on the fly, whereas with the pipe spreader, it would have to be the right length of pipe. Let's cut it to size according to my calculations. High protection first, of course. Now we will slide one of the receivers onto one end and use some screws to secure it to the 2x4. Repeat with the other side. Insert the threaded rod with the collar into the pipe. Now place the non-adjustable side against the far wall. Place the adjustable side with the threaded rod and the collar against the other wall and begin to expand the spreader. Continue cranking the handle until the spreader is solidly mounted between the two walls. Give it a tug to make sure you are ready for mounting. Let's rig a half roll of seamless paper as a background off our lumber. To find out the distance where to place our right angle baby plates, we will mount the Kupo paper drives into the core. Then we will measure the distance. First, we will mount two right angle baby plates to our lumber using screws at the distance we measured previously. Now we will place our baby hooks onto the right angle plates baby pins. Now we will mount our background. We'll cut the tape securing the paper, then we'll use the chain to lower the background to our desired height. As you can see, you can mount virtually anything that can be mounted to wood using the wall spreader for lumber. As mentioned before, there's a wall spreader made for one and a half inch schedule 40 pipe, which is 1.9 inches in diameter and even stronger than wood. The advantage of using the pipe option is that you could use any number of couplers or clamps to rig lighting and accessories. Go ahead and spread the Koopa love between any walls or floor ceiling combo you may find yourself between. Well, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. When it comes to your image making dreams and your grip equipment at Koopa, we like to say, never let go.